Congratulations. You have finished every chapter in the book. So that is awesome. This is a high school level class. And when you finish the book, right, you finish a semester, you pause, you review, and you get prepared for a final exam. So that's what we're going to be doing in this class. Okay. And I know it sounds scary. Final and exam. They're both scary words. Final. There's like nothing else after it, right? Exam. Exam. But it really, for this class and for most other classes, it's just a review test. Okay, a test that's going to review everything we've done so far. Okay, so it's nothing to be super afraid of. Um, we're going to have a problem basically from each chapter. And it's going to be, guess what? Open book, open notes. We're going to have a 10-day review where we review every chapter between now and then, right? And you can use your homework and you can use your notes on that to help you out on the exam. You can go to Khan Academy, you can Google, you can YouTube, whatever you need to do to make sure you get things right, you can get it right. So take a deep breath, it's not gonna be crazy hard, okay? There's a lot of concepts this year that you just got, and those are gonna be on there, so it's gonna be cool, okay? So to prepare you for that, we've got you kind of set up. Um, I'll show you what it looks like. Ready? Here we go. Um, boom. You can read this if you need more information. I'm gonna skip ahead. Day one, which would be our Monday, you're going to come in here and you're going to look and see uh, chapter one. We're reviewing the chapter one from this year. Functions, rules of exponents, plus scientific notation. Okay. I want you to look at the titles. I want you to maybe watch the videos, maybe watch them and fast forward, maybe like breeze through them. If it's stuff that you know, if it's stuff that you really understand and it seems really easy to you, that's great. You're going to have another option. If it looks like, oh, uh, yeah, I kind of need to review this, then do the review. Remember, when you do the review and you have those notes and you've done those examples, you're going to be able to use that on the exam. You're going to be able to turn to that on the exam and be like, oh, yeah, I already did this problem, right? And you're going to have the answers right there, or at least how to work through that problem right there. So it's really important that you do those if you think you need to, okay? Notice day two is chapter two. Day three is chapter three. Day four is chapter four, okay? If you have to do all four of those, that's awesome. There's no shame in that, right? If you want to review all this and you just want to cruise through and do just the reviews, awesome. But if you ever get to something, so let's say that I did, it's been a long time. So chapter, chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, I needed to review, okay? So I did all those. I watched the videos and then I clicked the link here. And I did these problems. I didn't give you too many problems. You can do more if you need to, if you think you need extra practice, right? Um, but I get to day four, and man, you know what? Scatter plots and that least square regression line, I just got. And I, I, I have it in my toolkit, and I know how to use it, and I feel super, super, super comfortable with that, okay? Maybe I look through the video link, maybe I look through the homework, but I'm like, dude, this is easy, okay? So I don't want to do that because that would be a waste of time for me. What do I do? Well, down here, we have them move ahead, okay? And I have them ordered from day one to day two, day three. What I'm doing here is I'm giving you a little sample of what integrated math two or sophomore level math is like. The math that you're going to be going into next year, I'm going to have about 10 days of move aheads for you um, that cover basically the first three chapters. So you can start getting an idea of the concepts that are going to be presented to you next year, okay? So now this was day four, right? I did day one, day two, day three in review. Day four here is the day that I really didn't need. I'm not gonna go to move ahead day four because that's chapter two that I've, right? I need, to, I, need to, I need to start at day one, right? So this is chapter one, part one. So this is what I would do on day four of the week, okay? Does that make sense? I think so. I did review day one, review day two, review day three. In place of review day four, I'm going to start in on one of the move ahead days because I need to do those in order because one thing might lead to another, to another, to another. Okay, so these I'm not going to skip. But if I get to one of these, the review days that I'm pretty good at, then I can skip and do a move ahead day in its place. And I'm doing those move ahead days in the order that they're listed. Okay, and next week I'm gonna have day one, day two, day three, day four. I'm just gonna add four more days to this, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. 
If you have questions, send me an email. If you have questions, come to open office hours and I will help you out, okay? But the main idea is do the review days if you think at all you need a review on that concept. If you don't need a review, go ahead and do one of the move ahead days. Cool? So I think that gives you some options. I think that's kind of cool. Tell me how it goes. And uh, yeah, good luck.